I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to another thing. We continue our conversation on gas prices and especially its effect on the economy. We're joined now by Steve Pressman, who is a professor of economics at Monmouth University. Professor, thanks so much for joining us. You heard the conversation uh, that led up to us talking. Yes. It, first of all, is there anything you want to add to that? Is there no, anything you I heard? That they, it, covered, they covered everything uh, correctly. Uh, gas prices have probably hit at uh, their bottom or close to their bottom will probably come up a little bit in the next couple of months. Is this good for us or bad for us? Well, lower gas prices are very good for American households. That The extra money that they're not paying for gasoline they can use for all sorts of other expenses. And the typical household in the United States has experienced really no increase in their standard of living for about a quarter century now. So this is like a big tax cut for the American household and if they go out and spend will be good for the U.S. economy. It doesn't completely make up for the economic disparity or the economic downturn, but at least is a welcome it, gift. It's better than nothing and we haven't had very much. We haven't had uh, any significant economic growth now for several years. We're still suffering from the effects of the Great Recession and households, as I said earlier. Really no increase in the standard of living for a typical American household for 25 years now. That, that being said, do we focus too much on gas prices because we see them all the time on the road and ignore the rest of the economy? We, we do. A point? Yeah, th there's nothing like having big numbers flash up at you when you're driving around wherever you go to focus your attention on something. And we do focus a whole lot on gas prices. The $1 drop in the price of a gallon of gasoline over the past several months um, is a big drop in terms of gas prices have fallen from about three dollars a gallon to two dollars a gallon the numbers have gone way down but in terms of an average family you're talking about maybe fifteen dollars a week it's something but it's not a great big deal right uh, you know it's funny you say that because they uh, in government they a lot of times especially in politics they talk about image being everything and that's why they like infrastructure and road programs because you see people going back to work and they like Gas is dropping because you see the gas is, the price is dropping, but that's not really an indication of what's going on around the country. So are we getting a false impression of the economy because of the gas prices? Well, we're getting a somewhat false impression. The economy is not booming, but the economy has actually finally begun to pick up in the past six months or so. And so that's a good sign. Now when you add lower gas prices on top of this, giving households more money, that will help too. In addition, the fact that those big numbers are up there flashing and everybody's happy and everybody's feeling better, that psychological effect benefits everybody because everybody's happier, everybody's spending more. So the fact that they feel better and they see the press is coming down, does that affect consumer confidence and that index and does that index then push everything else? Yep. Yep, that, that affects consumer confidence. We've seen consumer confidence go up in the past couple of months as gas prices have gone down, and it looks as though consumer spending is starting to increase. Um, all of that bodes well for the economy, and we've actually finally, in the past couple of months, begin, begun to see an economic recovery. The only thing that hasn't really recovered yet are the wages and incomes of households. Do you see them going up any time in the near future? I know it's a different topic, but we, we do see Wall Street doing extremely well and, and companies doing better. And I would imagine, by the way, with these gas prices, companies see an effect of that too, especially in transportation costs. So they're, they're doing better, they're benefiting. Uh, let, let me, let's wrap up the, uh, the gas prices conversation just by talking about the, the way we started this whole thing. The one thing that people really want to know and is that is, will these gas prices stay at this level for a sustainable amount of time, for a long period of time? Well, I, th I think probably not. If you look at the history of gas prices, uh, it's up and down and up and down and up and down, and it goes through cycles. And when prices are low, what happens? People drive more, they buy cars that get worse gas mileage, gas consumption goes up, and then gas prices go up, and then gas prices are way up, and what do people do? People start buying smaller cars, they cut down on their driving, they buy homes that are closer to where they work, <laughs> and so consumption goes down and prices go down, and it just cycles up and down and up and down, and I don't see any, any reason why that's gonna change anytime soon.
That was great. Thank you very much, Thank Professor. Thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. We're going to continue with another thing in just a moment.